about the obstacle to get on, but we said we're not giving up. We're not giving up. But thank you for your patience in um, highlighting of our special guest today. So we were trying and trying and trying to get on and it wasn't working. So you know what? Our guest said, let me come over. So now she is sitting right next to me Hi. and we are going to go on now with our highlighting of her life. So first of all, I am Maureen and Henry. I am your victorious living strategist. I came from a life of defeat to victory glorious living. So without further ado, because since we <laughs> went, had such issues, I'm going to just introduce you to Sharon. But before I get there, I want to talk about, you know, the, what the current state of affairs. I hope that everybody's doing well. I hope that everyone's being safe. Um, and just using wisdom because this is this, 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 the times that we're living in. So, and also share along with others, invite others to come on. And for those on the replay, thank you for watching. And, you know, if you have any comments, any questions, put them in the chat and talk to us. Talk to us as we talk to you. So, um, here is Sharon. Sharon, welcome to highlighting of your life, owning your life. I'm so happy to have you here. It was such a issue, but I'm so glad that you are here now. So just do a little introduction of yourself. Thank you for having me. I am um, Sharon Nisbet. I was, um, um, I was born in England. I uh, came here when I was uh, age of 14 wow. and uh, I did all my schooling here. And uh, I reside here now. I officially reside here. I've been here practically all my life from the age of 14. <laughs> wow, wow. You came here younger than I did. Yeah. Okay. Thank you for that. Thank you for sharing how you are. And do you, you have siblings? You have no, like- No, I'm an only child, but I, have, wow. I was raised with my aunts and uncles in England. Yeah. Wonderful. Yeah. Wonderful. All right. So let's start asking Sharon some questions. What made you realize you weren't owning your life? When I uh, silenced my own voice at such a young age, because when I came here, my English accent was very thick and the children at school used to make fun of me. And it kind of like allowed me to uh, numb my voice. So I wouldn't speak. There was a season where I wouldn't speak to anybody unless wow. someone spoke to me. I went through that period of silence in my own voice for a period of a long period of time. Mm -hmm. Wow. Until when I, I think I think I think into when I went got into high school. Wow. Like so, I would people would talk to me, mm -hmm. but I wouldn't initiate the conversations. So you were and so then you withdraw. So yeah. that, and so that actually goes back into shyness as well. Yeah. I was extremely shy too. Wow. I can understand that because I, I I was there too. So next question. What steps did you take to change it? As I got older, I realized that when I, when I was going to high school, I realized that I was seeking out friendships and seeking out friends to like me. Mm -hmm. I wanted to be heard and I wanted to be liked. So therefore, whatever they said, my voice again, I silenced it again because I would I would uh, silence my voice if they had something to say that I didn't like, I wouldn't speak up. Wow. I would I would, I would kind of like defend their feelings instead of my feelings. My feelings were getting hurt mm -hmm. in the process of me being silenced. So I would go through high school doing that because I wanted people to like me when I was at that age. Wow. And, yeah. and that's such a, uh, that's a huge topic though, because that's one of the things that will um, make people stuck, right? Because they want to be liked so that it will actually make people do things they're not supposed to do because they want to be liked. So that's a, uh, uh, that's a, a, a topic that is 
I think it's a huge topic. Sure, yeah. Because um, I know, like, even for myself, I I wasn't um, I wanted to be liked, but I didn't need to be liked. Mm-hmm. I would say to um, like people, I would say things like, "It's it's your love." Right? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. But then it but goes. It still goes a little bit back to people pleasing. Right, right? But, and so then it goes back to also not knowing who you are at such a young age because yeah. you struggle with that identity crisis because right. it's like. Who are you when you're at that age? Right. You're really still trying to find who you are. Right. So therefore you seek out the identity through your friends. And you always seek out the people that you like. And in reality, these same people that you're seeking out don't really like you because you're the one that's really seeking them. That's why we have to be very careful actually with the with with in um with friendship. We have right. to be careful with it because we have to know. Not everybody is for us. Not everybody's gonna like us, but exactly. we still we still just be ourselves, really. Exactly. Right? We, have to, we have to be ourselves. And that was another and, thing too. When I was at that age, I wanted everyone to like me because you know, once again, you're you're still trying to figure out who you are. So when you're not, when you don't know who you are, you're seeking out your identity again through I want this person to like me so much, and if they don't, okay, I'm gonna silence my voice. If if they say something you don't like you're still going to agree with them whether or not you like it or not just to appease them. Okay, here we yeah. go. I don't see the thing. Right. That's what I'm trying to get. Okay. Um, so they said it's the identity crisis as I was growing up. Right. The people pleasing thing came into play for me and I struggled with that as a child because once again maybe it was the you know being the only child syndrome Mm -hmm. and I had to deal with that too and you know along the way as you get older you begin to identify and then it's like that you're still searching and seeking who you are Mm -hmm. and then when you come to the realization these people are not my friends you're picking I'm picking the people who I want to be my friends when in reality it should be a mutual thing right yeah, and, that, and it, it, it's it's challenging too mm-hmm. because we like we learn so much at an older age where the things that we should, we should have learned when we're when we're children because that's why I said I wish I mean I know that the things that I know now that I've gained the knowledge that I've gained now if I had it when I was young from from a child I would have made different choices right? right and that's because we we don't know we perish for lack of knowledge so. Even our parents didn't know, right? Either, so which is just for them. Actually, it's really more, it was more about survival, right? And so it's it's like like, like when my parents they went to England to work, right? Mm-hmm, so it mm-hmm. was about survival. So it, it's it's a lot. <laughs> it is <laughs> the age that we're at then, now, right? Because we're at the age where we can sit, look back and go, "Oh my God, we really went through this right. at this age." Right. You know, and you reflect back, right? And it's like, you know, your younger self back then was so, like, in denial. Because we didn't know. Yeah, and so insecure because we had all these hang-ups and all these insecurities, whether it was through our, you know, skin tone or, you know, Mm -hmm. you're you're not big Mm -hmm. enough or you're not skinny enough or you're not tall enough or you're not, you know, pretty enough or your hair's not long or, you know, you don't have the right, you know, whatever it is you struggle with. And then you bring it into adulthood if you don't address it. Right. And, and... Exactly, and that's why some. Uh, that's why, unless people, you know, look within and start learning and 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 coming out of the box too, it's never going to change. Right. They will. They will stay like that as an adult. But then it's it's part of um, being honest and truthful to yourself because right. we, we've got all the outer layers okay. Right. But it's the inner layers that you know we have to kind of work yeah. on. Yeah. A lot of it's people, they internal. got all this so I can fix it's my hair internal. and put my makeup on and make sure I'm looking good for the camera and the people outside, but then the inside, right. there's struggles right. there, there's That's still issues there, is. there's right. still trauma there, there's yeah. still there's still some issues of neglect there, there's still some mm-hmm. insecurities of, oh my God, you know, I'm still struggling with that, that child within me. Right. And we're not addressing right. it. That- Right, because we right. stopped and it that's where it got, at that's that where age. It yeah. Even though we're older, we yep. still stopped it within us. Yep. That that childhood syndrome still within us. We're still struggling right. with those things. Right. right, and that's why we need help too. Like with with going to coaches. Like for mm-hmm. myself, I went and got inner healing, mm-hmm. and and it and it it helped a great deal. And so I encourage that. I encourage 
you know, because we all have things dealing with. Right, right. We, and we can go and get the help for it. And a lot of people don't um, want to admit it. You know, they can, like I said, out of, out of, out of appearance, you really can't tell. You, you get what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. it's like it's, it's still within you. You can't tell by what comes out. But the mouth, yeah, that's, that's true. true. So you that's can, true. You can't tell. Okay, so what advice would you give to someone who wants to own their life but they don't know where to start? Okay, I would just say um, be truthful to who you are at an early age. You know, like for me, as I got older, I, I began to look in the mirror and say, you know what? I have to search within myself. And what, what worked for me was my spirituality, my connection with God, my, my connection with the Holy Spirit, my, my, my life as a, as a Christian woman. You know, I'm proud to say that I'm a, a Christian woman and I'm, I'm true to who I am. Mm -hmm. You know, a lot of people don't like to, to, to talk about their Christianity because they, they, they feel like they get shunned upon when you, you talk about it so often. Mm -hmm. But I'm not ashamed of the gospel. Mm -hmm. So therefore, you know, mm -hmm. I'm going to be true to who I am. Right. You get what I'm right. saying? Right. Because that's me. That's who I am. That's, mm -hmm. that's who I, I, I walk with and talk with and live my daily life with. So I have to express who, who's within me. Right. So right. you know that 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 helped me a lot. I had to identify with my my spiritual journey, and on mm -hmm. along that way, I I was able to find Jesus Christ. You get what I'm saying, mm -hmm. and then along that way, I I I dipped into finding out what the Holy Spirit was about for me, and and that, that's what works for me. Right. And that right. that that right there, and then mm -hmm. you know searching the scriptures for myself, and 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 coming across you know. I'm, I'm fearful and wonderfully made in his mm -hmm. image. Amen. That helped Amen. me get along with, with my life's journey. And I'm still journeying on right. in my spiritual walk with Christ. Right. We never stop. It right. keeps going. Just, we, we just keep going. Amen. Because I was talking to someone today because we're not perfect people. Right. right. Even when we falter, we actually don't stop. Right. We still press on with, with God. We still keep moving forward. That's right. That's right. right. So it doesn't matter that. We're not, we're not perfect. None of us are. But the key is when we do fall turn, we realize wait, we're not in the will of the Lord. We get we just keep the focus on him. Okay, we stop what we're doing and we keep the focus on him. And that's, and right. that's what it is. We don't we don't stop. It's not about religion, it's about relationship it's a, it's, right exactly yeah, it's the exactly. relationship because yeah. i got i got caught up in religion when i was going through my spiritual journey right and yeah. i thought it was about religion but then when you get that encounter and you have that relationship yeah. you get to understand no it's not it's not about religion it's mm -hmm. about you having mm -hmm. the revelation of who mm -hmm. jesus christ is Amen. and Amen. through your walk again with that holy spirit you know, with the Holy Spirit, mm -hmm. but that greater is he that is within us than he that is in the world. You, you get to sense that what, what's inside of you. And you, you've got to, you've got to continue on that journey, that fellowship, you know, you know what I'm saying? Like, so how do you start that? Because like, I know when I started, when I became, when I was born again, I was going to church and I was, so I was being religious, but I didn't know I was being religious. So then so how do you get to that? Well, for me, when I attended a church called Love Gospel Assembly. I was surrounded around powerful women of God. I'm talking about women of God that that shield you and took you under their wings and 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 ministered to you for you to understand. You know, you're gonna have your struggles, mm -hmm. but they're gonna be there to minister to you. You're gonna have your struggles, and they're gonna they 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 were there to to you know take me under their wings and say, listen, this is what it is. This is this is this is the journey. It's not gonna be an easy journey. But when you have strong women, and, and you know, and it's because of who they, these women that, that God allowed to come into my life, I can stand before you and say, that I'm still on that journey, but I'm not where I was. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I know where I'm going now, right. and I know it's it's for a better purpose. It's a better, it's for a better meaning. It's a, it's mm -hmm. for a better destiny mm -hmm. for where God wants me to be. Mm -hmm. And it was because of these women, and I have to call these these women's names out to give them honor because I stand here before you guys. If it wasn't for these women, mm -hmm. I wouldn't be here today. So I just want to, you know, just honor my, my mom today, Rosina Nisbet, my, my grandmother, I, Iris Nisbet, my aunts, my aunts, uh, Adelaide, Francis, Yvonne and Maxine. They were a great foundation for my, 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 my walk and, and who, to who I am today. And the, the great women at Love Gospel Assembly, uh, Pastor Dorothy, Pastor Lillian, uh, Minister Nikki Galloway. She's no longer with us, but she was a powerhouse. She was a trailblazer, mm -hmm. and she helped me. She, that woman took me under her wings, and she prayed me through some, some storms, some serious storms. 
So I just wanted to give honor to her today. Uh, Lady Nita is another woman, another powerful woman in the gospel. Mm -hmm. Uh, Marcy Marcelina Luna, she's she's an intercessor. This woman always, when she saw me going through, right. when I was a baby Christian, right. she was, come on, Sharon, let's go. It's gonna be okay. Pick yourself mm -hmm. up. Mm -hmm. You're not gonna stay there. Right. Pick yourself Just, up. Get up. And that's what it is. We keep because going. there's work to be mm -hmm. done. Yeah. Get up. Pick yourself yeah. up. She was one of those women, you know, that that took me under her wings and prayed. Elder Elder Rosa Powell Brown that was another powerful woman of God in the gospel. Jack Jacqueline King. Uh, Mr. Shelley, my discipleship teachers, Gladys, Gladys Reyes, uh, Helen, Helen, Helen Suarez, Minister Amy Ramos, and Minister, a lot of women. See all these names that I'm calling? These yeah. were women that God placed in my life. Yeah. Minister Olivia Missionary Jeanette, Gloria Torres, wow. Minister Francis, Minister Estelle, Minister Joyce DeGrasse, Sister Valerie, Paula Pickett, Donna Gillard, and and also not forgetting my uh, coach, my coach, my book coach, Linda Dominique Groven Holland, another powerful woman that God placed in my life. And and this shows too that you're 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 not on the journey on your Amen. on your That's own. Right. You do need help from other people. You but can't forget. You just have to be careful who you get the help from. Right. But you um and that's where prayer comes in and and following the leading of the Lord. But you um but we we cannot um walk this journey run this journey on our own we need the help we need the support and so with reading off those names and giving thanks it's like that's what that shows we, we're not alone on our journey sometimes we may feel alone but we're not alone and i just give honor so, to these people i had to you know because it was like if I, like i said if it wasn't for these women these were strong women of god these mm -hmm. were strong these so, were strong women in the gospel right and they were able to to show me you know and let me know. And these women that I looked up to and admired because, you know, they may not have been perfect, mm -hmm. but there was something mm -hmm. about them that said, you know what? These women have a heart for God. Right. And they were right. a great example for me so to follow. They, so these women helped shaping you with owning your life. Amen. That's powerful. Amen. That's powerful. Okay. Um, let's go to the next question. Is owning your life a one-time thing or do you... Or do you keep working at it? Like right? you, you are, you are what now? You you're working full time, and you're working and just keeping your focus on the Lord. So what, what is it that? How do you keep going? How it never starts. It's it's, right? a, it's a long time thing until when Jesus comes for us. It's a, it's a, it's a progression. It's a, it's ongoing. It's it's longevity for me. It's something that you know if you if you if you know that. There's, there's destiny and purpose for your life. You're going to keep on going on no, despite the obstacles that are faced your way because trust yeah. me, I've had obstacles and I'm going to continue to have obstacles. And am I going to mess up? Yes, I am going to mess up. But you know what? Through it all, I know my help comes from him and he's going to help me no matter what. Despite what goes on around me, despite what's being said about me, despite you know people backbiting and lying and gossiping or whatever, whatever it is, you know, vice versa, whatever it is, we're not perfect, but I know that my help comes from him. And if I'm going to mess up, he's the one that I'm going to go to. Because it's, it's continuous. It's long. It's long. It's, it's ongoing. The yeah. thing is ongoing. And then you got to have spiritual, like, if, if you know you're in Christ, you're not going to hang out with people that are not in Christ, that, 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 that are not like-minded well, like you. I well, mean, you, you hang out with people, but you just know who's how who. to be yeah, and maneuver around with, with them. But I'm because... talking in order because we have to still be around people to let the light of christ shine through us so that people will will be drawn to him because of us right, right but i'm so, saying that in a sense because of my experiences that i've had mm -hmm. with the ones that are not like 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 minded like me you know like like goes back to again if i if i'm I, am i going to appease them just to, to to make them happy are people going to pull me back into the, the way i used to be or are people gonna, with them there you it's, go. Using, it's using yeah. wisdom because you can be around anybody, but like with your particular journey, like I have a journey that I'm on, like I have like that. Hi, Catherine, because my, my accountability partner is on the court on mm -hmm. here now. So it's, it, you can be around people, but it, it, you know how to act around, you know how right. to speak around. But so, I was talking so that's in what terms of people that I've come in contact with where I've befriended. Mm -hmm. And you know, it's I, I can sense for me 
that my peace has to be in, in a place where I'm not going to get angry or, mm -hmm. you know, I'm not going to have an outburst of going back to my old ways mm -hmm. because that has happened to me from time well, to time. Well, and I have to, you know, stop myself and say, okay, this person that I've, I've put myself with is not healthy for me. So mm -hmm. I know how I'm going to be because my flesh right. is going to act up. So I have to protect my peace. Right. So and that it actually goes back to owning your life because if you weren't owning your life, you wouldn't know to do that. You would right. you would still stay in that right. and end up and falling. Accept but it. you know, so that owning your life is not just, you know, your career. It's it's exactly. how you handle your life as well. Exactly. So, so that's a, a that's another important part of owning your life. It's just like you're not following anybody, you're taking charge of your own life. Right. So and thank you. Thank you for those that are on and, and for um those that will be on the replay. If you have any questions, any comments, um, write them in. Um, our guest today is Sharon Nisbet, and we um and it was just such a struggle to get <laughs> on here tonight, but we didn't give up and we're on. So we thank you, we thank you for your patience, we thank you for coming on and, and being with us as we talk about with Sharon's journey of, of owning her life. So Sharon, tell me, what are some of the things you're up to these well, days? Well, right now, um, I'm actually completing my children's book, finally, because <laughs> I had announced it last year, I think yeah, last year, and it, some stuff happened where I just had to like make sure the book was okay and, you know, keeping everything and making sure everything. So it's going to be launched this year, hopefully. Congratulations. Thank you. And, um, there's a there's a uh, a page that I'm on. It's the Holy Spirit is in me and you. You can you guys can check me out on that. The Holy Spirit is in you and me. I'm on there and I'm talking about the Holy Spirit. God has arrested me to delve more into that conversation. So those that wanted to trace with me and are interested in knowing more about the Holy Spirit, you can catch me on the Holy Spirit lives in you and me. We can post that afterwards. As yes, well. okay. We can put that. Can put that yeah. And I'll know so, so on Facebook, Sharon know. Nisbet. Wait, but um, what words of encouragement? Because we're coming coming up to okay. that. So, what words of encouragement can you offer someone, um, the 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 viewers, and then though for those on on the replay, just be true to who you are. Don't don't uh go by what people say who you are. You know who you are. And just know that greater is he that is within you than he that is in the world. And just know that you're fearfully and wonderfully made in the image of Jesus Christ. And just stand in your truth. Stand in your truth. Because I know at times standing in your truth can offend people. But just stand in your truth. Don't, don't hold back. Just be who God has called you to be. And work that thing out. Because it's not an easy, it's not an easy walk. But you know what we know at the end. There's, there's a silver lining at the end, there's joy at the end, there's peace at the end, there's restoration at the end. Mm -hmm. God is the one that has us. If you truly believe and you truly have that relationship with God, you just know, you stand. That's all you can do is stand and know because the salvation, the salvation of the Lord is, is, is ours. His Amen. salvation is Amen. ours. Amen. And I just thank you for having me, Noreen. You're welcome. Yeah. You're welcome. You stretch me because um... this right here is coming out of my comfort zone. <laughs> This is not me. So I know God's doing a new thing in me because this is not me. I'm well, more behind the scenes person. Well, what, what, so I just thank you for allowing me to, you know, have this opportunity and and well what they say is you have to be comfortable with being uncomfortable. It's true. I, and so I, true. If, if we're not, we're never gonna do anything. It's true. I, we'll stay stuck. <laughs> yeah. And so so we have to we have to do things to come out the comfort zone and and you you get used to it because as Sharon says, she has her um she has a book coming out soon. It's a children's book. And so you're gonna have to get used I to know, I you know. know being interviewed. I know it's all and, him. I know it's all him. And, and, and so get yeah. used to it. Get yeah. used to it. Yeah. And I just wanna give honor to my pastor, Sarafina Thomas. I just wanna thank her. I give her all the honor and glory to God for, for just bringing this magnificent woman, apostle. Uh, pastor, my mentor, she's the one that keeps me on the straight and narrow and keeps me on track. No, the Lord does. I know, but I'm just saying, she <laughs> keeps me on track. Like she reels me back in when she sees that, you know, she checks up on me. She's my accountability partner. She checks in on me. So I just wanted to give honor to her. All right. So now how, how can, um, how can someone connect with you? I, I know you was mentioning your, your Facebook group. 
I'm on Facebook, how? Sharon Nisbet, and I'm also on Instagram, Sharon Nisbet. And I'm also on a page, like I said, where I'm going to be talking about the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit lives in you and me. You can catch me on that. I'll put it on the, at the bottom of the link. Yeah, you can, you can give me the information yeah, I'll and then I'll, 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 I'll put it in there. Um, so um, uh, thank you. Thank, thank you for you. agreeing to come on and highlighting thank your you. life. Thank you. What a beautiful release. What a beautiful is, release. It is um, because it's to help others that's what it's about we serve and we help others and then when you talk about your story you know the things that you have gone through and how you have overcome to how you are truly owning your life it encourages others to be able to, to do that too so i thank you appreciate thank you, you coming coming on and also thanking you for coming over because we had there was so much issues in um sharon onto the the live stream but since she doesn't live too far away from me, because we were trying behind the scenes uh, to get her on, and it, it, we just couldn't get it to work from um, the laptop. I don't know what the issue was was with that. So when she said, wait, should I come over? I was like, okay. Because I was saying, okay, we could be scheduled then. But she said, come over. We just get it over and done with. Because one of the things is, is we don't give up. And I always remember one of the uh, uh, classes I took, um, the lady, her uh, name is Tamara Lowe. She always says everything is a teachable moment, right? So, like, this is a teachable moment to show how we don't give up. As, as much as we had the time scheduled and we, it, we tried and tried and it didn't work the way that we expected it to work, and we it worked another way. We was determined. So now she's sitting yeah. next to me. <laughs> We're not scared of the coronavirus. That's right. <laughs> It's supposed to be half far. What is that? Me? We're not even talking about that. We're not even going to discuss How that. How far you supposed to be? I know, right? I'm not supposed to hug. Wait, the elbow. The right? elbow. You're too much. <laughs> Thank so, you for having me. You're welcome. Yes. So we, the, 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 this is to show that we persevere and we keep going. We fight life through. So thank you for watching. If you have anything you, uh, you want to ask for Sharon, just um, reach out to her. She's put her. She's mentioned how you can reach her. And um. And we just thank you, thank you, and I thank look forward you. to your book coming out, and I look forward to seeing you um, progress even more with what the Lord has given for you to Amen. do. Because and congratulations all, to you, thank your you. TV show. I'm so oh, happy thank you, for you, thank you. So um, this is women in liberation, <laughs> <laughs> and the men too. Yes, the men too. We can't not, forget not the just, men, not just the women. The men, that was just our too. conversation. It was our conversation. So, you know. so um, um. I want to talk about quickly before we before we sign off. Um, I, like the tour that I had planned, so I, it's all changed because of you know the current state of affairs. But so I will be coming out with um, new dates, um, short soon, very soon. And so um, so I'll give you that update that information about that. And as Sharon mentioned, my TV talk show. Um, look out for that. Um, that's coming up soon also. And we're doing an office and tour, right? Is there an office tour with Dee Lee? No, uh, oh, that's different. That's different. Oh, okay. we, we don't, I don't know what her plans are. Oh, yet, okay. Because I, I wanted to be a part. I, yeah, to be I don't know okay, what her plans so are for that yet. Because okay. it will, um, I haven't seen anything come out about okay. that yet. But, um, so if you, anybody's interested in um, commercials, being a guest, the, the shout outs to my TV talk show is Victoria Living with Noreen TV talk show. Be shout to me. Let me know because this is an audience of 22 plus million people, viewers, getting to see you. So reach out to me. And also, if you would like to be highlighted on a Friday evening of uh, with Owning Your Life, let me know that too. And we'll schedule time for you to come on and be a guest. Because just like how tonight didn't work the way that it was we had planned, it still worked anyway. Amen. So we still keep going. So thank you. Thank you. Again, my name is Noreen. And Henry, you know, I like to use my middle initial. And um, we'll see you next time on Own Your Life. Thank you again, Bye. Sharon, You're for coming on. And thank you thank for you. coming over thank you. And, and sitting next to me Appreciate while it. we um, talk about Own in Your Life. Appreciate it. So see you next thank time. You. Bye, guys. Bye. Bye. Bye.